Hey Polaris guys, this is Jared here from Mud and Wheels. Yep, you heard me right. Today we're not doing our typical Can-Am diff maintenance video. We actually got ourselves a Polaris Razor transmission up here on the bench. This transmission is out of a 1000 XP and actually it has been, this transmission has been upgraded to the high lifter transmission. So it has the gear reduction in it. Anyways guys, we're gonna open this guy up. We're gonna go over some of the weak points in these transmissions and we're gonna cover some of the basics. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna go over some of the weak points that I'm aware of with these transmissions. And also I'd like to hear some feedback from you guys. What other issues do these trannies suffer from? Um, just please leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to your feedback on this. So first of all, the reverse chain. Pretty much everybody knows about the weak reverse chain. But like I was saying earlier, this is the high lifter transmission with the gear reduction. And that, believe it or not, is the heavy duty reverse chain. Still looks a little light to me, but uh, from what I know, that chain has not really been an issue. So again, if you guys have some comments about that reverse chain, please let me know in the comments section below. Okay guys, moving right along here, we're up to our snorkel gear. Now this is the other weak component that I'm aware of inside these transmissions. Uh, from what I know of these, they like to fail in reverse direction. Um, I might add that the snorkel gear is what's responsible for giving you your four wheel drive. These gears transmit power through your front prop shaft up to your front differential. Okay, so this transmission belongs to one of my good buddies messing around. You can see this uh, 1000 XP Razor on Austa Cruiser's channel. It's featured there quite a bit. Um, I was there the day this happened. And well, his 34 and a half inch Outlaw 2s were buried right out of sight into the skeg. And we tried to winch them out backwards. And well, as you can see, the rest is history. Okay, so like I was saying, these gears are a spiral bevel design. They're used in lots of Apple Motive applications, differentials, even in ATVs and Can-Ams, XMR and Maverick differentials. Now while these gears are strong, these teeth are strong in the forward direction because they're putting the pressure on this con convex side of the tooth, it's just like an eggshell. You try to crush an egg from top to bottom and it's pretty impossible. Now, failure happened in reverse. And they are not as strong in reverse because now they're operating on this concave portion of the tooth. So it's curved inward. So they're just not quite as strong in this direction. Let's see, there's a nice crack starting to form. Okay guys, so after studying this failure for quite some time and taking from my knowledge from learning from Can-Am differentials over the years and then playing with the new snorkel gears, I've determined that Polaris is missing a few key fundamentals when building these transmissions. I found that their specs are very vague and not near accurate enough when you're talking about a high speed, high torque style gearbox. I believe with some tighter quality control and a few key fundamentals put in place, we can correct this problem of snorkel gears breaking in the reverse direction. Um, we're going to be testing this over the next few months and see how much stronger we think we can make these gears. But for now guys, what I want from you is to know what your experience with the player's transmissions are. Have you had trouble with your snorkel gears? Have you had trouble with your reverse chain? Any other weak areas that I might be missing out on at this point? Please leave it in the comments sections below. Share this with your Polaris buddies, your Razor buddies. Let me know. I've been having lots of comments 
lately about getting into doing Polaris differentials and transmissions. So share this with your buds. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And anyway, guys, we'll get another video up in a few months when we've tested this sucker out. Thanks for watching.